Good morning, everyone. This is Amy Geyer with Greenbush um, in the Medicaid billing. Thank you for joining me this morning um, regarding the new bus logging feature for the interlocals and co-ops. We have added a new option for you in our CompuClaim Medicaid billing system. Uh, transportation logs are now a new option for your districts. This new feature allows your staff at the districts to add bus logs that can be used to figure specialized transportation for your SDAC reporting. It's pretty simple to use and it'll give you the numbers needed to complete the ratio for your transportation claiming. So what this system will do is um, it will back up the services that the student had the day that they rode the bus since your, your, your providers are already logging in the CompuClaim system. So it's going to give you that raw data that you'll need for your SDAC reporting. I do want to let you know um, over here on your screen, if you have any questions, there's a little box where you can type in your questions. And also wanted to let you know this is just an optional feature. Um, if, you, if some of your districts already have something in place to do their transportation, they, they do not have to do it. We just wanted to let you know that this is a new feature and it will help. Um, we will not give your districts the information, so it will be up to the co-op or the interlocal to send them the information uh, to the individual districts within your co-op or interlocal to log. And at the end of the webinar, I'll send you all of the logins for your districts. So again, if you have any questions, just type in your questions on the question box on your control panel, and I'll go ahead and get started. Right now I'm on the demo site, so all the information is made up. The client ID will always be Greenbush with a capital G, and I'm just going to log in as transportation. When you first log in, it's going to look basically like your uh, maybe your district admin would look. It'll show the announcements here over to the left. To enter a uh, specialized transportation log, you would just go under Wizards here on the toolbar. You would select Transportation Wizard. And this is going to pull all the students that are in that particular district. So each district within your co-op or in a local will have their own separate login. So they'll only be able to see those students within that particular district that they're doing transportation for. They can search by the last name or the first name. They can also widen their search to 50 students per page. And it'll give them the list of all the, the students in that particular district. What they have to do is just simply select the student's name that they want to enter a service on and it will pop up to a calendar. It will default to the current month that we're in. So if they need to enter logs for previous months, they just click the back button. And in the middle of the page, it's going to show the student's name and the student's date of birth. And if you can see, we've already entered logs um, on this student for transportation. So they will show up yellow if there's logs on that particular day. So to enter a log, they would just simply, they can select the week or they can just simply select the days. So since we're on Wednesday here, I'll go, you can log one way or you can log two ways. So if the student rode the bus um, twice out of the day or just once out of the day, you can just select it and it's going to populate your transportation here. So it's going to show two specialized transportation trips. And down here at the bottom are all the services that were just entered. So if you need to delete one of these logs, let's say one of the students rode the bus um, in the morning and then they were picked up in the afternoon, but they're showing two transportation logs for that day, you can just simply delete one of the logs and it'll ask you to confirm. So then it'll show it to back to one specialized transportation for that day. So if you want to log a particular week, We'll go back here. You can select the week. It's going to select all those days in that week. And then you can just select one way or two way. When you do that, it's going to show up in yellow that the logs have been saved. And then all your specialized transportation logs will show up here at the bottom. Again, if you just need to delete them, just click the trash can and they will not appear. To get your reporting information, you would go up here under the toolbar under reports. It'll be the second option, which is transportation summary. 
this uh, report does default to the month that we're in. So if you want to look at a particular month, you can just go up here and select. Or if you want to look at all, that'll go back for the year. You can also just type in your start date or end date. And then here we'll have the district information. Once you click search, it's going to populate the general information for that district. So it shows all trips 116, it shows transportation eligibility 91, Medicaid eligibility 0, match is 25, TEM 0, and TEM 15. Now what these particular acronyms mean is the, the trans eligibility. So trans flag means that the student has transportation flag in their student file is turned to yes. So that means the student has transportation referred into their IP. It is very important that you let us know here at Greenbush. You can email me. Um, again, it's just amygeyer at greenbushhealth.org. Email me through your Greenbush Health account, the students that you do log transportation for, because we do have to select them as a transportation student in order for your reports to show up correctly. So again, just email me the list of students that you have uh, districts logging on, and we'll make sure that their transportation option is flagged. That way they will show up in your reporting feature. So the med um, eligible means that the student is Medicaid eligible for that period of time. The service match right here means that there is a matching service that day that the student rode the bus. So that's one important piece that you'll need for your SDAC reporting. TEM means that their transportation is in their IEP. They're eligible for Medicaid and there's a matching service on that day. And then TM is transportations in their IEP and they have a matching service. So these are the students that are not Medicaid eligible. So this just gives the summary of your district. If you need to know more information regarding the student, you can click the plus sign over here to the left. And it's going to populate the student's information. So it'll give a summary of that student right here with all the information. So this student had 11 matching services, but they're not Medicaid eligible. And you can just simply select and look at the logs that, you, that have been entered for the student and look to see which one had a service match over here. This report can be exported to a PDF or to an Excel. So again, just to enter a log, you'll go up here to Wizards on the toolbar. Go to Transportation Wizard. You can select the student's last name or first name. Once you select the student, it'll take you to the calendar. Again, the, the, the calendar falls to the month that we're in. So to enter logs for previous month, you can. You can simply just select the day by checking the boxes. Or if they ride the bus the whole week, select the week. And then up here, you'll either log one way or two way. Once you select that, it'll show up in yellow and all of your logs will appear here. And it's showing one of two, so there's two pages of logs on this particular month. So again, I will email you the information um, for your districts. If you have somebody at the district level within your co-op or in a local that would like to log the transportation, I will email you the individual districts login and you can disperse those to that particular district. Again, it is very important that you let us know here at Greenbush which students are transportation students. That way we can flag them in the system and they will show up on your reporting feature. Um, so just, just a reminder, your district folks probably are not familiar with CompuClaim. So that's why we're just going to share the information with you at the co-op or in a local and you can disperse it to whoever in the district will be doing the transportation piece. And again, it's just an optional function. Um, they don't have to use it. If they already have a system in place, then they can stick to that system. We just want to let you know what's available now. Does anybody have any questions? So to recap, this is an optional function for your districts. 
If you believe that your districts would be interested in this option, please share this with them. Again, um, I'm Amy Geyer and I'll send you an email with your district login information. Uh, the districts, what we did on our end was we basically set them up like um, your therapists, so they will only see the district that they're attached to. You can train the district um, who will handle the bus logs, but if you need assistance, you can contact me here at Greenbush. Again, it's Amy Geyer. You can contact me by email or our toll-free number. The number is 888-654-8704. And again, to send me a list of the students, um, please make sure you're using your Greenbush Health account. And to email me, you can just email it to Amy, just amy.geier, G-E-I-E-R, at greenbushhealth.org. Since it does contain student information, please use that Greenbush Health account that has been assigned to you. And if there's no questions, thank you for joining us today. Um, you'll be receiving an email shortly from me with your district login information. And again, you can email me at any time if you have any questions or just give us a call here at Greenbush. Thank you and have a good day.